Hi everyone, happy Tuesday, yes, right? Yes, happy Tuesday. It's yes, happy Tuesday. I can't believe it is already April 13th. So we're, we're almost halfway uh, for the month of April. And it's a lovely day today. And um, we are coming at you live from Daytona Beach to all of you who are just new to our business page. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm a physical therapist and I am also a digital business owner. Hi everyone, thank you so much for um, the new people who follow and uh, like our page. My, my name is Joam and as you all know that um, we are um, originally from the Philippines but now we are here, living here in Florida for over 15 years and actually um, I used to work in a corporate job for over five years but I basically um, quit my job last year so i can uh, focus on this on uh, my business full time and also most importantly um, raise my kids myself that's great <laughs> um talking about my day um just like what i started um talking um earlier i i had a very a nice day today i only saw about um seven patients today and i think that's a perfect day for my home health setting you know because i drive and then see the patients other homes so I think seeing six or seven patients that that's just perfect for me but you know we know that sometimes during the holidays I sometimes see more patients because we have to fit in those patients on our schedule in a four-day week you know but I love it when it just um, um, I'm only seeing like six or seven patients a day but today um, this morning my wife Joam she told me that we need to do a go live video today right yes yes because we promise you guys that in our page we will um, try our best to give you value and hope to learn from us yes so today <laughs> our topic is all about um, discussing the advantage of an online, an business. online business, business over the traditional business or a brick and mortar business. So we actually um, are just going to give you five advantages of doing an online business versus um, a digital business. But before diving into that, we just have to differentiate, you know, um, a traditional business or a brick and mortar business and versus an online business. So the question is, what is a brick and mortar business? So a brick and mortar business is any business that has a physical stores like um, the one you see in the big malls or um, any corners in the real estate, uh, real estate, commercial real estate industries. So those are the stores we call the brick and mortar because you they have their own physical store that you have to go to to buy something. Yes. So um, any business that has a, a physical store that's considered a um, a traditional business or a brick and mortar business um, yeah. while an online business obviously um, you can do this business um, online right um, as long as you have access to so on internet you know you can basically uh, do an online business um, anytime and anywhere but so there are also like smart um, uh, uh, on, uh, brick and mortar business that has also at the same time they also have an online business correct also. so they they transition that because you know a lot of um, entrepreneurs are realizing nowadays that um, online is the way to go and you can actually reach more people if you're doing an online business all right yes. so um, just like what I mentioned earlier the, uh, we are gonna be talking about five um, advantages of an online business versus a traditional business but so, you uh, you guys if you have any question just comment um, um, and we will try to address any of your questions all right yes so, so the first advantage is okay the first number one advantage of having an online business is that reaching customers worldwide yes yeah, so you okay. have you have a global reach if you are actually doing um, on online business so imagine facebook facebook alone billions of users three, are three billions, yeah, three billions yeah. of users are yeah, using facebook uh what about um other social media platforms you know we have uh, instagram twitter twitter we have um, LinkedIn. linkedin you know a lot pinterest yeah, pinterest there's so many ways that you can actually do um business online and all you have to do is just leverage 
you know, your business by using those social media platforms, right? Yes. So yes. if you have a global reach, that means um, a, a good thing that can happen is you have a very good potential to have an increase in revenues, right? Right. And not also that um, you reach like millions of people actually and they're all these platforms are free by the way so you, yeah. they don't charge if you like uh, just open an account with Facebook or any of those um, social media platforms they are all free yes, yes. and I know that uh, uh, for so many times you've mentioned in our go live like if your business is not online you'll be out of business you'll be out of business so that's why it's it's really a great opportunity to have the online business and a good example of you know uh, companies going out of business remember um, blockbuster yeah i uh that i remember uh, when we came uh, first came here in the u.s and it was the huge blockbuster every weekend people go in there and rent movies for the weekend friday night is a um, movie night right so people go um, rent movies through Blockbuster. I don't know you guys if you still remember Blockbuster. Yes, that you know, was there. You, um, you ran out like uh, Betamax and then transitioned to uh, DVD, uh, uh, VHS, yeah, yes. those, those stuff. And because um, a lot of movies now are being streamed on, online, online, so that's yeah. why um, they're going out of business. So that's a good example of if your business is not online, you'll be out of business. And example also with what happens to Macy's and of course any other stores, let's say, you know, Macy's, they are, they have a huge physical stores. They are a huge company, but look at what happened right now because people are no longer going out to the malls and people are just doing stuff online. So now, um, soon i don't know um they're uh, they don't have like closing stores already yes and especially with the pandemic right now people are afraid to go to public and go yeah. to a physical store they would rather do a lot of shopping online you know like amazon and and all other um, stuff so it's it's really nice to have an online business yeah, and, so. um, and to, uh, in, in addition to that uh, before we forget so aside from uh, you know you have better potential in increasing your, your revenue if you have an online system um, that is like open 24 7 right yes that's <coughs> so, the good thing about it. it's open 24 7 so, and so even if you're you're sleeping or, or even if you have a, a full-time job and if you have an online business, remember this business can can work for you twenty four seven. So that, that's working smart. It is run. It, be, it 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 runs like a you have a passive income right there because you can as a person as a human being you can only work as much like you can't work twenty four hours seven days a week, right? Yes, and then um, another thing also that like, you know if you have products uh, with your business, you don't have to like sell those products online you know yeah. people will go to your website and buy and buy those products so that's amazing uh, that's another uh, great example of um, having an online business okay and so what's the second uh, second one the second um, advantage is a uh, it's offering easier access to customers. to customers yes um, a good example is that you know when we went um, on our vacation about two weeks ago um, yeah. We needed to rent a car, right, for a vehicle there. So, thanks to online um, system, because we didn't have to go there physically. All we need to do is just go search. to the internet and then search choose it. and search. You know, the, a good rate for for rental car, and all you need to do is just enter the information. And I didn't have to go there physically, so I can accomplish what. Um, I needed to do by just uh, visiting um, their website and that's online so that's another great thing so that's now another advantage of why you have if you have a business or um, businesses online people can just yeah, easily search for your business and com easily compare prices and then you get a customer okay so that's the <laughs> second major advantage of an online business Offering easy access to, to customers. customers. Let's go to the third one. <coughs> okay, I like this one. Um, okay. It's um, online businesses imply lower administration costs. Yes. And actually, um, there's so many businesses out there that 
no overhead. I mean, so-called overhead. Once you're established, you know, you didn't have to, because uh, I understand that you have to, to pay this website, but there's a lot of online business that there's only like one time investment, right? Yes. And you don't have to buy products um, every Regularly month or, or, or every year. So um, yeah, that's that's one good thing with having an online business. Well, there are also online businesses out there that they need to store their products in one um, one storage, right? Yes. Like, so that they're easy to um, get those products and ship it to their customers. Yes. So that's another, um, one. another example of uh, lower administration costs. Remember, guys, that if you have like a brick and mortar business, remember that you have to to rent an office um, every month. You, you have to pay that rent. You have to pay for your employees, right? Every month, if there are people helping you out with your uh, business, uh, you have to pay them salary. You have to pay for the electricity. You have to pay for all other costs cost and like um, overhead run. expenses so yeah. so uh, that's one advantage of an Having online business versus uh, the traditional business because okay. yeah it lowered the administration costs out yeah. there okay what's the number four and number four is improve customer support yes so what, what that means um, if I'm a customer and I don't like this product it's easier instead of me going to the um, to the store and complain with my products right it's so easy to just contact online put your put all of your um, um, uh, information out there why you don't like your pr uh, product so it's really easy to contact yes so uh, like if you have customers you know if they have any questions they could just send you an email you can just um, communicate with them back and forth uh, through email so that, that's that's easier um, versus the, the traditional business okay well, nowadays it's most likely you do it in the email or just uh, putting um, it in their website website right there whatever complaints you have yes so it's so much easier I rarely use my phone anymore to call to call, to call companies that we have just, problems just with, right? Just send them a message. Just send them a message because it's more important, it's easy that you have records. Yes. So if you have records that you complain about, it's, you are more, like, more than likely that you will be um, served. Okay, all right. So right. what's the number five? The last one that we have. Um, okay, so number, okay. okay. So the number five um, advantage of having an online business is that it can actually be established even if you have no experience yeah, right? right 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 because there's you know when you do like a brick and mortar business you have to start from scratch right if you have no experience you're going to be talking to a lot of people you're going to be talking to a lot of business owners like you and, and asking research. them and, and users that you know uh, you may probably have to do a lot of feasibility studies just to make sure that your business will grow but with an online business, there's so many businesses out there that you can establish from scratch. Um, even if you have no prior experience, you have, even if you have no experience in marketing, all you need to do is just follow their system in place and you can be very successful with an online business, right? Right, and um, before we end, um, actually it's today since today is Tuesday. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's webinar yeah. day. It's a <laughs> webinar day. I just remembered. Now, you know, guys, uh, I know we've been telling you this, but we um, we have, of course, uh, our online business uh, or digital business. We've been doing this for about a year and two months now, and we're loving it. Mm -hmm. So um, if you guys are curious are interested. about or interested, in, hey, what are we doing? What kind of business we're doing? So we actually hold a live webinar or info session um, it, that is happening every Tuesday and Thursday, um, yeah. happening um, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific, Pacific Standard Time and 8 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. And I know that some of you are busy. Or so, different parts of the world as or well. Or different parts of the world. If you're not able to attend the live info session or the live webinar, still register your name and email address email address on our website. And we will actually post the link um, together you know, with this uh, live video later. So all you need to do is just um, send your enter your name and email address so you will get all the information about the business. And remember, guys, if you are not able to attend a live webinar, you can always watch the, the replay. replay anytime at your convenience. All right. And all right. then don't forget to register 
uh, when you guys are ready or send us a message if you have any questions as well. Yes. And to all the people who tune in for our live um, session today, thank you very much. And again, if you have any question, uh, drop, in, drop down your comments below and we'll be um, addressing those um, questions later. And uh, also, um, at any time, if there's any topic that you want us to talk or to discuss, anything that you want to know, um, just let us know and we'll, we'll be um, glad to share whatever yeah. topic that you'll be interested in. Yes, we are not we are not saying that we are expert because we are all learning. So any um, uh, any what do you call this uh, 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 business or entrepreneurs out there? Where all, everything is um, we all learned like this pandemic right now. No, nobody is um, expert on anything. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in again. We are coming at you live from Daytona Beach. Um, see you we, next time. No, we're going to thank first for pe the, the people who are watching, tuning in. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, what happened here? Sorry, guys. So thank you, Arlene. So my Wang is watching right now. Thank you so much. And and Shevilia Leanne Elford. Yeah, Leanne, she was watching earlier. Melvin Santos, she's also watching my uh, my mom Amparo Dory Rosales. Hi, Auntie, thank you so much for watching. She's from Philippines. Leanne is from Canada. Leanne, Canada, she's from Canada. And she's Indiana. Hi, Aunt. Thanks for watching. Um, Jeannie, Jeannie Buckler, hello, hello. Hi, Jen Paul. Jen Paul from Illinois. And Goldie Tanzamora, thank you. And Arlene Mascardo. All right, thank you so much, guys. I hope you learned um, uh, learn from us, something from us today, and give you value. So um, see you guys next time. Happy <coughs> Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Say bye, Zachary. Bye. All right, bye.